On a recent visit to the Purdue University um, volleyball training session, Coach Dave Shondell gave me a good chance to do some video that will focus on blocking and defensive alignment. And the first thing we're going to focus on is the cross-court defender, be they left back or right back. And you'll see how you know, they use the block as a key to where they line up, or, or they work real hard to use it as a key. So a couple things have to happen. One is the blockers have to be consistent. So I, you know, the main key is you want to see the ball and the hitter inside the middle blocker. So this is a pretty good example of two things. One is the left back player lining up inside the middle blocker, and two, the middle blocker going straight over the net and give them a good reference point in terms of where do I line up. There's a couple of things that we want to point out here in these clips. One is the left back or the primary cross, primary cross court digger lining up correctly. The drop off blocker, in this case the left front, making sure she doesn't come back too far and get in the way of the left back defender. So those two people have to work well together. And lastly, we're going to focus on the blockers. And like in this situation, see how the middle blocker goes straight up and over and allows the left back defender to provide a good reference point. And in that situation, left back defender was more behind the block than inside the block. As you can see here, she's more a good, good picture where she can see the ball and the hitter. And then in the insert, you saw the middle blocker go straight over the net. It's very difficult for cross-court defenders to line up correctly. Here she's a little bit too much behind the block, and the ball went right where it was supposed to go, and she was more out of position than she needs to be. The back row defenders will have a very difficult time lining up around the block if the block is reaching sideways. So we really want blockers to go straight up and get over the net, and then the back row defenders can dig around that block. And by going straight over the net, it's also going to allow the blockers to touch and, and do a better job of, of defending at the net. Obviously, we've gone to the center back position now, and her key is seeing the ball and the hitter between the two blockers. So she lines up where she, if there's a seam in the block, that's right where, right where she should be. So most of her movements are lateral uh, as opposed to forward and backward. So she's going to slide sideways. And with all the defenders, you want to try and make your moves in advance of the ball being hit. You want to try not to be moving as the ball is being hit. Let's focus on the block a little bit. And you, again, you want to have four hands together, ideally, and you want to have those four hands reaching straight over the net. So watch how the outside blocker kind of turns away from the net. Notice how her hips are away from the net. Now in and by itself, that's not the worst thing in the world, but you want to make sure your hips are squared on the net as the ball's being hit. And you'll see in this, these slow motion clips how the block has turned away as the ball's being hit. And you get deflections like that. And we really don't want deflections. You want the ball being stuffed. You want it being touched significantly where you can play it behind you. But if you get to a point where the, the ball is careening through the block or off the block, we have no defense for that. So you want to make sure that was a great example of the middle blocker reaching straight up and over. So again, four hands together four hands reaching to the back line, and then the back row can, can try to defend around it. So the middle blocker is doing a pretty good job of reaching straight over. The outside blocker, and eh, not so good. She's kind of twisting away, and it creates an inconsistent blocking surface, as, as you see there. So you really want to try and be square as the ball's being hit, and we'll defend around that kind of block. But I think the middle, the middle back is doing a really good job right now of just lining up and defending the deep part of the court. The right back player is almost, and I should add the right front player, it's almost the same, or I should say it's exactly the same defending responsibilities. Get inside the middle blocker and dig anything that goes inside that middle blocker. You know, it, there tends to be more seams in the block 
when the ball is set behind the setter and the right front's attacking. So it's not quite as consistent. Middle blockers don't move quite as well to the left, but the keys are, are still the same. So in a wrap-up, we want the cross-court defender to see the ball and hitter inside the middle blocker. We want to make sure all moves are made before the ball is hit. You know, obviously we want to pursue every ball um, because there's 900 square feet and that ball can go anywhere. You want to get in the habit of pursuing it. We want to make sure all the blockers, middle blockers, especially outside blockers for sure, reach straight over the net to the back line. Middle back defender sees the ball between the block and the middle back will pursue all deep deflections. So this is a, hopefully a good example of how to organize your defense.